one of the initiatives that the ministry supports. We want to thank you for all the work you would have done in, in this regard. The ministry has determined that it should support an endeavor like this because it promotes healthy living. Uh, the reality for Barbados is that we have an aging society, and we have an aging society, but unfortunately we also have a very unhealthy society. As the Ministry of People Empowerment and Elder Affairs, the fact that this would promote healthy living, which in essence becomes healthy aging, is something that we would want to support. Uh, unlike other countries that are aging, Barbados is aging, but the level of NCDs is disproportionate when I mean, compared to other countries. So I think it's important that we start having a conversation about not only exercise, about, about the things that we put into our bodies, the foods that we eat, the drinks we consume, and so on. So that is why, why we are here supporting this endeavor. There are about 37 persons who will be exhibiting today, so Barbadians will see that there are a range of options in terms of healthy living. We're going to be having about 15 speakers who will speak about these issues. I think one of the things that we've been also discussing is in relation to dementia and why it's important to, to consider dementia as a health issue in Barbados. A number of the older persons are dealing with issues pertaining to dementia. I also find it interesting that persons look at people and make certain judgments. You know, if somebody they think is overweight, they think they have um, associated health issues. But there are a number of persons who do not look overweight who also have health issues. We have to be conscious about, especially in the, in, you know, the black community, to be honest, uh, the level of diabetes, um, the high blood pressure issues and so on. 